Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see how to create a database, how to create a table and how to insert values in that table. Okay. In case you want to know how to download and install the SQL Server Management Studio and the SQL Server, then I have already created a video. You can go to my channel and view that video to install, download and connect the SQL Server to the Management Studio. So let's start with this video. In this video, we are going to first create a database. So what we do is we go to this database, right click it and say new database. Now we have to give a name to the database. So I'll say, this is my first database. So I'll say first database and click OK. OK, now our database is created. We need to create tables. So first I will show you which table we are going to create. We are going to create this table. So this table is for an employee where we have the employee name, employee ID, department, salary and the joining date so we have to be very careful about the data types we use while creating the table so name will be of a character data type id will be of integer department again of character data type salary of integer type and joining date will be date data type so let, let's start i say new query Now let's start writing the code. I say create table employee with employee name characters 50 then employee ID of integer type, then employee department of character type, then salary of integer type, and then a joining date of date data type now I, I have written the code and i will just say execute uh it gives me some error it says okay i had an extra space sorry about that and now execute okay commands completed successfully so my table is created so what i do is i go to tables and I can, I can see that the employee table is created. So now let's in, let's start to insert the values. So let's see the values. We also see that there are some empty values also. So whenever we want to enter some empty values in a particular row in a table, then we have to use null for that. So whenever we will have this empty, I will just type null, okay? And we have to be very careful about entering the date also because in, in management studio, the date is, date is accepted in the format year, month, and then the date. So we have to be particular about the format of the date and all the characters and the dates are entered in the uh, quotes. Okay. So let's start by entering the first one. I say new query insert into employee values bracket open my first value is abhishek then i have his id then the department salary is null because it was empty the, the column the that particular cell was empty so i say null comma and the joining date will be in the year in the format year then the month and then the date so let's try to execute the first one first so i say execute 
Okay, so one row affected, completion time, that means the, this row is inserted. So let me quickly just type the rest of the four entries also. So I have typed all the values I need to insert and now I will click execute. Okay, so all my values are inserted into the table because it says one row effective and completion type. Now let's see how our data looks, okay? Because it is important to know how is our data looking. So I say new query and I say select star from employee. Okay, so this is exactly what we see over here. You see this? We have inserted our data in the exact same manner without any error. So in this video, we saw how to create a database, create a table, insert values, how to be careful about the data types, the empties and the date, because it is very important in case we try to just miss out any of that, it will give us some errors. And also we saw how to view the data we have inserted in a table using the select command. Now what we are going to do in the next video is that we will start, we will see how to use select with the where command. Because the thing is not always we want to see the all the data. We want to see some particular data at a particular time. So in the next class, we will start to use the select with the where statement okay so that's all for this video 